Hello and welcome to the channel which introduces you to the fine art of getting more for as little as you can. It's called being a cheapskate or as some call it cheapskatism or cheapskatism. <laughs> anyway, here we will show you how to survive and have a good quality of life for less. And one thing we're going to talk to you about today is programs that you could qualify for if your income is low enough. Programs that you can qualify for if your income is low enough. More specifically, we're going to talk about food stamps today. And I'm quite sure most of you out there are probably familiar with the food stamp program. And for those of, the, of you that aren't, I'll give a slight overview on it. It's a program where they will give you a certain amount of uh, money for food to live on each month if you meet certain income criteria. And the individuals who meet this income criteria uh, have their food budget subsidized. It's not supposed to be a replacement for your food and everyday needs. It's supposed to be a supplement. And the way you do this, it varies according to each state and the food stamp program is called something in each different state but it's all, they're all run by government entities and they all have different varying entity um, the, each entity has different qualification standards and the place to go to apply to see if you can qualify for food stamps is with your state's equivalent of what they call here in Georgia uh, the Department of uh, Family and Children's Services and their umbrella operation here in this state where they have uh, food stamp program, food for infant children, uh, medical services for mothers and children, the WIC program, women, infant and uh, children I believe it's what it's called. But this organization qualifies you to see if you are eligible to receive these benefits and let's face it you know everybody's seen people with food stamps in the stores you know they used to have the individual stamp books and they had so much fraud going on with that they went to a card and it's very similar to a credit card or a debit card you go you pick out the items and of course you know there's certain items that you can't get like already cooked food these have to be foods that are not cooked that you get and prepare for yourself. Of course, you can get fruits and vegetables and things of that nature. And um, you go up to the cash register, they run up the bill, and you present your food stamp card, or sometimes it's called a SNAP, S-N-A-P, benefit card, or an EBT, electronic benefits transfer card. You go up, you swipe it in the credit card terminal, and um, the amount is taken off the car and they bag up your groceries and you walk out the door. It's as simple as that. And they give you a set amount each month. Normally here in Georgia, I believe uh, some people get benefits transferred to their cards on the 10th of the month, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and some people get it at some other predestined point during the month. But it's always the same day of the month each month once you get your benefits on that and they're normally good for a year and you have to go through a renewal process where if anything's changed like uh, people living in your house your income and things like that and th they basically want to check to see if you still qualify for food stamps and um, this is open to elderly people it's open to disabled people it's open to the unemployed people I mean, you know, if you're unemployed here in this state, you can qualify for food stamps. And uh, lots of people do because if you're, on, if you're unemployed and you go get unemployment, and in this state it's roughly about $300 a week, and you have to go out and submit a job report and stuff like that. And uh, you go get food stamps, that's a little bit more. You know, it, it, it's barely enough to subsist on, but it is something for you to work with while you're trying to get your life and get your stuff back together so that you can find gainful employment. And to show you what one of these are, look like, 
and I'm going to put my finger over it to have the person's name in this state. This is called the Georgia Food Stamp Card. And uh, and this card is was lent to me so that I could show you exactly what it is like to do it. Now, you may or may not qualify for the benefits, obviously, if you're gainfully employed. If you work over the prescribed certain amount of hours per week and get over a certain amount of money per month, you won't qualify. But if you don't, or if you're a student or something like that, and you have a little part-time job and you're trying to live, you should be able to get it. Of course, I'm not an expert on it. You would have to go to your state's website or go into a state office and sit down with someone or fill out a form to see if you qualify. But this is just a, a helpful hint to give you some direction on where to get some resources from uh, to help put money in your pocket so that you can live and hopefully live frugally. Don't go out and spend all your food stamp or EBT benefit buying steaks and all that. Shop sensibly so that you can stretch it out as long as possible so, because it doesn't make any sense to go down there and spend the little 70, 80, 90, 100 dollars or whatever it is they give you per month depending on your income and go buy about three or four steaks. You have to eat for the rest of the month. So go out and go buy staples that you can use, healthful staples, hopefully. Things that you can get a lot of mileage out of, things that won't spoil as quickly so that you can use your benefit in the most common sense way. Don't go out and go buy a bunch of prawns, shrimps, and have two, maybe three good meals and starve for the rest of the month and sit up eating cornflakes from the dollar store. Oh, and by the way, dollar stores do take EBT cards here in Georgia and probably a lot of other states. But it's just one helpful hint and one alternative that you might want to consider because I know a lot of you all out there have gotten fired at one time or another, and some of you all are probably going to get fired after you listen to me on this video. So, hey, let's face it. Let's face reality. Let's get serious. And you have to be prepared when certain things do happen. And you always have to prepare to have a place to eat, a place to live, and a place to sleep. You know, you have to have that. And this is just one brick in the wall for things, the necessities of life that you have to deal with. Well, I'm not going to sit up and I'm not going to lecture people on what they should and should not do because the good and the bad things in life have affected all of us. It's happened to me. It's happened to you. And for those of you all out there that it hadn't happened to, hang on. It will happen sooner or later. So just prepare yourself and don't be smug in your position in life because at a blink of the eye, things can change. And you need to have the proper information so that you can keep your program going and recover in as short a period of time as possible. And having stuff like this is one of those things yeah, necessary. For you to put your egg back together. Anyway, hopefully this information has been helpful to you. And if you think it has, please like and share the video. And also, if you really think that these hints are helpful to you and have some benefit in your life, uh, please also join the video so that you can be emailed whenever I put up a new video and you can be first on the block to get the information and put your program in order. And also, I'd like for you to spread the information around. Look up at the top of your browser and you'll see your webpage setting where it say HTTP forward slash and it'll say YouTube, Vimeo, or whatever. Copy and paste that to your Facebook, Instagram site and say share. You say look, you might be able to get food stamps. Listen to this guy. Send them back to me and maybe we can get them qualified. It's no promises, but it never hurts to look and it never hurts to ask. Thanks a lot for looking at this video and catch us next time for some more helpful hints and how to survive in these tough times. Thanks a lot. <music>